the fabric cord that is free for the taking. It is from a home interior place that's called Simple Things. And I don't know why they're getting rid of it, but it's free for the taking. So I'm gonna dive in and I'm gonna dig through and see what I can get. There's a midnight blue velvet. It's a little thick, but it's real pretty. Soft, some kind of a cotton blend, I think. And I'm trying to get it, except that it's under all that. <sighs> all right, I think I have exhausted not only myself, but the things that I am actually able to extract from this pile. I really like this purple. It's like some sort of, some sort of something. It's some sort of linen look something. And there's a lot of it, but it's almost at the bottom of the pile. So I'm going to say goodbye to this treasure because I do not have any more room in my car. <laughs> it's all, it's all full. Most of it's velvet because there is a ton of velvet in this. So much. They have it in pretty much every color and in different weights and backings and all sorts of craziness but it's behind the building so you have to come down this little this little road and go dumpster diving because Ta -da! all right happy hunting all right so i wanted to share with you the extent of the of the hoard of fabric that I picked up yesterday at the simple things I don't know rejection pile I guess most of it most of it is velvet and you remember I was kind of miffed that I couldn't get it that midnight blue velvet at the bottom of the pile well it turns out I already had a, a midnight blue velvet in my in the things that I had grabbed. In fact, I think I have two. I do, I have two of them. So I have more blue velvet now than I could ever hope for. I also have this kind of fuchsia velveteen and some of this really neat patterned fabric. Weirdly, this little kind of Heathered green wool, which when I saw it, I was like, eh, maybe I'll get that. I can probably do something with that. I was looking at the tag to see if there was anything about fiber content or length of yardage or anything like that. And surprise, it's a Ralph Lauren. So, just got some free Ralph Lauren fabric, which is really exciting. And it's not the one that I was most excited to pick up yesterday. I was actually really excited about this purple. I'm still really excited about this purple because it's so pretty. And it matches my 1877 dress that I made for Dickens last year. It's pretty much exactly the same color. I don't know what I'm going to do with that information if I'm going to make like a mantle or a bodice or maybe a new overskirt. I don't know. but. It's nice to have in the stash. And I also have this beautiful moss green velvet. And somewhere in the back here, aha, uh -huh, this orange velvet that I'm also excited about because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I have in mind maybe a Tudor dress with some brown fur in the sleeves and things like that. Make it just like a little little drop of sunshine but yes that's the that is the fabric pile oh there's also this this wonderful teal velvet I think I must have picked up 
all of the bright colors before everyone got there because they were all saying how muted the colors were and how they were all in shades of blue and neutral and and here I am with the deep purples and oranges and fuchsias so sorry guys I got it all I think <laughs> all right next is to figure out what I'm gonna do with all this <laughs>